Hunter's Grasp is Hero Hunter's third move, and I think it's the best move Hero Hunter has. It has some type of range variations. If you just use it on a non-stunned ragdoll, he will be thrown by six blocks away. However, if you use 4M1s or a skill on a person and his ragdoll will be stunned, you can shorten the distance to four blocks. I will show you later why it is that useful to do, but make sure before you do 4M1s or a skill and trying to do that, your opponent doesn't have ragdoll cancel. If you do four clicks and the ragdoll is stunned, you can do the most basic hunter grasp technique. To do that, you just have to hold your M1s and walk forward, so you can continue the combo after the skill by catching your opponent in a click. It is not hard to do so. You might perfect it after around two tries. Make sure your opponent doesn't have a ragdoll cancel. You can also use a front dash instead of doing clicks, because it deals more damage but still has the same ability to let you land four clicks. This one requires a good timing, but it's easy. These are all the variations how you can use your four clicks to do the Hunter Grasp. Each one is easy, and it doesn't require a good amount of skill. I'll show you some average combos you can land while using this tech. I won't explain how do you do that because that's not what the video is about. You can just try repeating that and ask questions in case you don't know something. If you use Praise Peril and you don't let the last punch hit, it allows you to do that technique, which proves my words about the ability to hit it after any Hero Hunter skill. And just so you know it's a guard-breaking skill that can bypass block, you can use it in case somebody holds block for too long. 